Hey guys, I'm the Dairy Deputy. I'm bringing you to some a new uh, fun team I made. Not really that great, but it's fun. I'm on this side, so the team is... Uh, I'll let you see for yourself. I lead with Eleanor Roosevelt, actually predicting a Sand Slash, because I could have sub encored it into Stealth Rocks, but I get the Baton Pass anyways. I decided to stay in and discharge, just maybe I get the Paralyze on the Mech Mortar, which would have made my life a lot easier. I don't. So I just baton pass uh, into Spla. I could have taken that easily because I'm I'm a fully specially defensive um this thing. I stayed in because I thought he might be the special set, but he turns out not to be. I get hit by a crit leaf blade. That kind of hurt, but he gets a static, which I went for discharge just to hopefully get the static anyways. So um that sucked because. <laughs> Now my Spla is almost dead. So I go into Puff Daddy because I can take any hit. I go for the Wish because, I mean, I can probably pass it to Spla if, well, that's what I was trying to do. But I actually get it to Eleanor Roosevelt. I'm back to full. Uh, I have to switch out because I'm afraid of this thing being scarfed and tricking me to scarf because the whole s basis of this team is passing subs off and b passing subs and motor drive boosts off. Quick passing with him. Uh, I just let Spla die to see if it really was scarfed, because, I mean, yeah, I'm assuming it was at this point, so I can go into Nightman, because I can take the hit for days, and, uh, I'm Specs, and I hit things hard, so I hit this thing with a Shadow Ball, I assume I'm gonna outspeed it, because, um, Amolga did, but even if I don't, I have 105 special defense, I can take any hit it goes for, he goes into Haunter, I'm afraid of the Shadow Ball, and I just go into Eleanor Roosevelt, that does a shit ton of damage, but I decide it's just time for, to let Eleanor die. So down goes Eleanor, but I go to Argent, because I'm pretty sure a Mystic Water Adaptability Aqua Tail, or Aqua Jet will kill this thing. I knew he had the Mantine, but I wasn't too afraid, because even after the, um, the health pack, I thought I could kill with Crunch, which I could, because Mantines are very specially defensive, they can't take physical hits for shit. So I go into Puff Daddy to take the hit, Turns out I don't take it as well as I thought. I'm assuming this thing is banded because that two hit KO'd my fully defensive um, Slurpuff. But I go back out on Nightman because that basically means I can kill something. And I just st stay in because really, I had I had a hope. I stay. I lived it. That was my only play at this point. I do live it with eight percent, and I kill the Haunter. At that point, he was just oh. Because Nightman is powerful mon. Aqua Jet kills me. Uh, not gonna... I, I wasn't really expecting to live. He goes into Sand Slash. At this point, I've never changed up my moves. So I'm thinking he thinks that I am banded. Because I've only gone for Aqua Jets consecutively. And only gone for Waterfall consecutively. And I'm gonna go for the Aqua Jet to throw him off guard. And Waterfall does a lot of damage to me. I'm gonna go for an Aqua Jet. Get him as low as possible get hit by another waterfall and here is where I surprised him and I I yep I go into Boris and I mock punch him to death because this is a physical belly drum mag mortar and it is a beautiful thing now I know Boris didn't really get to do much this game he did win it for me but he didn't get to show off his belly drumness so I'll show you another replay where I got a 6-0 sweep with him so he leads off with a Pineco, I lead off with Argent, I actually expected to lead Typhlosion, but that didn't work out. So I just hit this thing with a Waterfall. I kind of forgot what those things did, but I just go for the Waterfall. It does shit ton of damage to Rotom Fan. I'm going to go for the Aqua Jet and just kill the Fan. So that was great use to it. I forgot that these, I know these things have the Berry Juice, but I forgot that they also usually carry Pain Split. So I was like, fuck, I gotta do something about this. I go into Eleanor Roosevelt, because of course I can sub on this thing. And, yeah, it won't really do much after that. So I go for the sub, it's Pain Split can't do anything, and I'm just gonna baton pass this right into Magmortar, into Boris. And I, I was expecting either he'd switch out, or just go for the spikes. Either way, I get a free sub on Boris, and I go for the Belly Drum, and uh, I Earthquake this thing. It goes down to its sturdy, of course. He just goes for another spikes, but that's not important, because, yeah... I don't know. I, mean, I just go for the mock punch just because. No, I actually mock punch this thing because I didn't want to take unnecessary damage on with myself because I have flare blitz. But I just go for the other mock punch. Typhlosion. Okay, I wanted this sweep. So I actually calc this. I don't usually calc things, but I was like, I honestly did not think that this thing would kill or would be able to kill me. So 
Uh, unless it was specs. So that was what I was banking on, that it was scarfed. It doesn't kill me, I live on 8%, I kill it with an earthquake, and then I kill this thing with a mock punch, and he leaves because he didn't want to give me the 6-0 the 6 mag mortar belly drum mag mortar sweep but it would have been because i could have mock punched the cling clang and that probably would have killed and uh, i don't remember I, I think i outspeed it so i could have probably just gone for earthquake but i would have gone for mock punch because it would have killed let's be honest uh anyways that was the game that was both games uh this is the power of belly drum mag mortar it is it is beautiful so yeah, see you guys next time. Stay dairy out there.